Misinformation kills. Now, that may seem like a bold statement. I mean, diseases kill, accidents kill, natural disasters, but misinformation? Well, consider this. This is Natalie. Natalie died of the measles because her parents believed in the misinformation that vaccines cause autism. This is Jess from the Sunshine Coast. She died of cancer because she believed that clean eating could cure it. This is Sharky from Melbourne. Melbourne died in Syria because he believed in the misinformation spread by ISIS through social media. Perhaps most relevant to Australia, um, the incidence of natural disasters and the frequency of natural disasters, the victims of natural disasters, are set to rise if large segments of the public continue to believe in the misinformation that climate change is not an issue. So clearly, misinformation does kill. Unfortunately, the unprecedented access we have to information nowadays also means we are bombarded with misinformation and we need to find ways to deal with it. Unfortunately, just telling people the facts is not good enough. My research shows that people's decisions are affected by misinformation even after they receive factual and clear corrections, even if they understand, they believe and they remember the factual corrections. Even worse, sometimes corrections of misinformation can ironically strengthen the very false beliefs they are trying to correct. So you can tell a person, vaccines cause autism, that's a myth. It may backfire and lead the person to believe the myth even more. This is because repeating the myth when correcting it makes it more familiar. After a while, the familiar myth may be all a person remembers. Likewise, corrections can backfire because sometimes people just don't want to be told that what they believe is wrong. So misinformation sticks, it influences our decisions, and it's resistant to correction. So we need to find ways, if we want to combat misinformation, to do it properly. Now my research looks at ways to do exactly that, to combat misinformation, and I'll develop the strategies, the communication tools, to debunk myths more effectively and help people make better decisions not just for their own personal benefit, but for the benefit of our society as a whole. Thank you.